When you're applying for a mortgage, your credit score makes a world of difference. A higher score opens up a wider range of mortgage options for home buyers. But the chase to get a high credit score in the first place and the formula that determines it can be complicated, even for a super genius like him. Beep, beep. The goal is to improve your score and expand your mortgage options. But first, you should understand the main inputs that determine your score. The first is time. The longer you hold a credit account that you pay down regularly, such as a loan or credit card, the more established your credit becomes. The number of credit accounts that you hold also affect your score. Three or more active open accounts is great. However, any less and your credit could be considered too thin. The most misunderstood input are inquiries. The occasional credit check for a utility bill, car loan or mortgage pre-approval should not negatively affect one's score. However, multiple inquiries over a short period of time will, as this behaviour is termed credit seeking. As you make regular payments, your credit becomes more established. But payments missed and ignored always damage one's credit score. As these delinquent payments build, one's credit score slides and when creditors start closing accounts or writing off bad debts, their score comes to a dead stop. But most home buyers know this. Missing payments is obviously a negative input. However, there is one more input that can affect your score as negatively as missing payments, and that is credit utilization. In one swipe, credit utilization can crash a credit score built up meticulously over many years. It can be your best friend or your arch nemesis. Use our credit calculator and learn how credit utilization affects you so you are not blindsided when it comes time to apply for a mortgage. Canada Mortgage Source. Intelligent Mortgage Solutions.